Hello my dear friends, and welcome back to another Star Wars news update. It's been 72 hours of non-stop news. Between the surprise announcement of Tales of the Empire, discussions surrounding the most recent episodes of The Bad Batch, and yesterday's announcement that we're getting a gameplay trailer for Star Wars Outlaws on April 9th, there has been a lot. And today, my dear friends, we have some Star Wars movie news. The first one is unprecedented, and concerns the movie we know least about. James Mangold's Dawn of the Jedi, a story about the first ever Jedi, and the origins of the Order itself. This is massive, because suddenly my excitement for this movie went from about a 2, all the way up to 9 or 10. Because according to The Hollywood Reporter, Bo Willimon, who wrote some of the best episodes of Andor Season 1, is co-writing this movie with James. The playwright and screenwriter has been tapped to work the script for the Lucasfilm feature set 25,000 years before the events of The Phantom Menace. And I remember, my dear friends, when this movie was announced at Star Wars Celebration back in 2023, almost a year to the day, I remember thinking, it's a very good idea they're going all the way back thousands of years before the Skywalker saga and avoiding anything to do with the Skywalkers. It's about time Star Wars takes a step in a different direction, and Dawn of the Jedi symbolizes this. So now the fact they've got such a talented screenwriter on the project, I think there's a good chance this movie is an absolute banger. And as I say, the best part of this is the fact Bo Willimon is already part of Lucasfilm, already part of what Dave Filoni would call the Lucasfilm family, so unlike some other cancelled Star Wars projects we can name, this one has less of a chance of being canned. Not to mention, this isn't James Mangold's first experience with Lucasfilm either, he recently did Indiana Jones 5, The Dial of Destiny. And while that movie might be considered a flop, the circumstances for Dawn of the Jedi seem very different, and now we know there is enormous talent, Bo Willimon, co-writing the script. Bo Willimon worked on three of the best, ever-written Star Wars television episodes, and or Episode 8, Narkina 5, Episode 9, Nobody's Listening, and of course the fan favourite Episode 10, One Way Out. And oh, what an amazing episode that was. All three of them. Here is a comment by James Mangold via The Hollywood Reporter. He said this, when I first started talking to Kathy about doing one of these pictures, what occurred to me was thinking about what kind of genre of movie within Star Wars I wanted to do, and then the inspiration came to him. He wanted to do a Bible epic set in space, a Ten Commandments about the dawning of the Force. Where did the Force come from? When was it discovered? And quote, when did we learn how to use it? Who was the mysterious Prime Jedi who discovered the Ashla and the Bogan, the light and the dark? distinguishing those things, and the philosophy that would form the foundation of the Jedi Order that we know. The Hollywood reporters say the movie has no release date, but Mangold is going to start working on it after he finishes on his Bob Dylan biopic, A Complete Unknown. And also, my dear friends, we have confirmation The Mandalorian and Grogu, which may or may not be replacing The Mandalorian Season 4, is releasing on May 22nd, 2026. We'd already suspected this, but now in a new press release via Variety, this is confirmed. So moving on my dear friends, yesterday we did have quite a bit of news for the Acolytes. We're getting an enormous promo on Thursday on April 11th, but did you know on top of this, we're getting some news for the Charmino Bechanoi Ray movie. Daisy Ridley gave an exclusive interview about the upcoming film, so fingers crossed, some juicy info coming next week. Now we're going to return to the Acolyte in just a moment, and we also have some very exciting updates if you're an Ahsoka fan. But first, my dear friends, as I mentioned at the start of this video, coming very soon, April 9th, in just a few days' time, we're getting a story trailer for Star Wars Outlaws, and some fans are wondering, is this game going to be another big surprise on May the 4th? It could be coming sooner than we think. My prediction is sometime between May and June. As we know, the story focuses on smuggler and scoundrel K. Vess, between the events of The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. I'll cover any updates as they come out. But now, my dear friends, back to the Acolytes, we have an exclusive new look at Carrion Moss's Jedi Master Indara, who is, quote, very much inspired by Trinity from The Matrix. And in the fight, we see in the trailer against a manless Denberg's May, that influence is truly evident. Empire said this, It makes so much sense. You almost wonder why it hasn't happened already. Given Carrion Moss's astonishing action work in the Matrix movies, with their gravity-defying wire work and rapid-fire hand-to-hand choreography, she already possesses Jedi-level talents. And in the new Star Wars series, The Acolyte, creator Leslie Headland is finally connecting those dots. Meets Jedi Master Indara, bringing martial arts excellence to the galaxy far, far away. As seen in the show's first trailer, 
Not only will the part see Moss get caught up in hand-to-hand -hand combat, she also brings force moves into her fighting. Yes, she knows force foo. She is very much inspired by Trinity, Leslie Headland told Empire Magazine. Casting her was a no-brainer. If it means Star Wars fans see Endara's Trinity with a lightsaber, that is the intended effect. She says, quote, I personally wanted to see someone who had the highest status you could imagine. Someone that would come in, and you would immediately be like, oh, that's the most powerful Jedi in the room, and that's Trinity. Leslie also teases some other influence from the Matrix as well. And so finally, my dear friends, do you guys remember in the Book of Boba Fett, when Ahsoka reunites with R2-D2? Well, it's happened again. Ahsoka is on a mission with R2, and even tells him, great to see you again. I'm talking about some new Star Tour scenes which fans can enjoy, including shots featuring Ahsoka, Cassian Andor, The Mandalorian, and Grogu, which debuted at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Earlier this week, some new banners, including art from the new attraction, were posted, with imagery of the Disney Plus show, Cetos, and The Purgle, Ahsoka's T6 shuttle flying in the background. WDWNT say this, During the ride you escape to Kashyyyk, and then receive a transmission from the Mandalorian Din Djarin and Grogu. The Mandalorian tells you he's sending over coordinates because he needs your help. And then you see Grogu, everyone's favourite little green guy, eating and spitting out a frog that floats in front of the passengers, which is all part of the 3D experience. Up next, they say you travel to Cetos, where you see Ahsoka and the Space Whales, and the Togruta asks for your help in a dogfight. You take down the enemy, and R2-D2 makes the Star Speeder do an inversion before flying back to the hangar. Other new additions include a transmission from Cassian Andor, who asks for your help in taking down the Empire and he too provides coordinates. According to the report, all tours include a visit to Cetos, but the first opening planets are randomized. So while WDWNT experienced Kashyyyk, this is just one of many. It honestly looks like a pretty fun time, and my favorite aspect of this was seeing Cassian again. And all season two is currently slated for release in 2025, so it might be a bit of time until we next see him. So any breadcrumb, any nugget is more than welcome. Diego Luna is fantastic. But what do you guys think? Is this something you might consider doing? As someone living in the UK, this isn't exactly something very feasible, something we can just get up and do on a whim. But for everyone who decides to experience this, I hope you have fun. Share your thoughts on everything we spoke about in today's video in the comments down below. Did you enjoy this news update? If you did, please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. May the force be with you, always.